Hello once again, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I am here with another tutorial for Reason and uh, in this tutorial I'm using Reason5 and I'm going to show you a little bit about what the matrix can do to help you out. So um, I guess we'll just start off by loading up a Thor and the initialized patch goes something like that. What the matrix can do, if you open up a matrix, if you automatically um, create one underneath a device, it automatically routes out the note CV and the gate CV. So what the gate CV is doing is it's telling um, Thor to turn on or off, and what the note is doing is it's telling it, okay, whatever notes are in here, which is just a C right now, a C3, um, that note is going to play the Thor. So if you were actually to run it over here, that's what you would get. Uh, one of the useful things about the matrix is that you can randomize things. So if you hold Control R, you can quickly throw in a, a pattern, uh, which basically these are the notes up here, and then this down here controls the gate, whether it's on or off. And you have um, half notes or tied notes, which is a full note, uh, which will lead in um, directly from this note here to the next. So when you run this sequence, doesn't sound like much of anything, but you can keep hitting R, Control R, to get something that you like. So that's the way that that works. Um, also, if you um, you can also draw in the notes, so you can do notes like this. And then you can choose the amount of steps. You can go up to 32 steps, or you can go all the way down to, let's say, 8. And then you can run it. That's how the matrix works. The other cool thing about the matrix is you also have this curve CV, which if you turn on the curve over here, this will turn in to show you the curve that's happening. And you can do a bipolar or a unipolar. Um, so what you can do is you can do a curve like this, let's say. Or if you hold down your shift key, you can draw an even curve all the way through. And then what you can do is you can send your curve CV, let's say we send it to the pan input and turn up the trim knob, and now what that's going to do is the curve is going to control the panning of the device. So as you play it, what the uh, the curve function does now you have um, you have eight different banks here you've got um, eight banks under a eight banks under B eight banks under C eight banks under D so this gives you 32 banks that you can play with and all a bank is it's just um, different curves that you can add in different CV amounts values gates notes and curves um, on each one of these so you can create different patterns uh, along each of them and you can also automate it so that you can switch from one to the other in the sequencer and the way you do that is you right click select edit automation and then when you go into your sequencer here you have got your pattern let's go back to the song and you can draw in your patterns and when you draw in your patterns you'll see it starts off with a1 up here so you can quickly change this pattern if you want and you can select any of the banks so if I want pattern A to go over here and then I'll copy another pattern over here and let's just loop this I can select A2 so this will play pattern 2 so what's going to happen is when you play it it's playing A1 
going to turn off. So that's how you can quickly create patterns using your matrix. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. There's not really that much. Um, you have a five octave note range from C1 up to C3. Um, and you, or is it C0? No, C1, C2, C3. It goes C0, I believe, up to C3. Um, let me just check that quickly. It goes from C1 to C6, sorry. So it's C1 to C6 in this range. And um, you can also create the, change the resolution over here. So you can have 1 16th notes, you can have 1 8th triplets, uh, 1 8th, 1 quarter, 1 half, all the way up to 1 16th triplets, 1 32, 1 64, and 1 1 28th which is very fine fine value. It's actually finer than what you can get in the snap function here, which only goes up to 1, one, one sixty-fourth. Um, so there's there's some different things that you can do with that. Um, and the shuffle, again, it's like the shuffle on the redrum. It gives a, sh a swing feel to your notes, although I would not use this. Um, basically what I would use is probably the regroove sequencer um, because the regroove gives you a lot more options in here. So that's all there is to the matrix. Uh, using the matrix, using these different things, especially using the curves, you can apply the curves to any kind of parameter you want. You can um, apply it to rotary one, rotary two, filter frequency, the amp level. Um, so if you play this, uh, sorry, let's just delete the automation. If we go back here and we play it. use those curves to affect any CV value um, or any CV parameter on other devices. Uh, so that's that's a quick look at the matrix and all that it can do. And uh, with this device, it doesn't actually create or generate any sounds. It needs to be applied to another device like a Thor or a Maelstrom or a Subtractor or even an NNXT or an NN19 sampler device um, in order for it to function. It, it's kind of... Um, it's kind of like it's hobbled because you can't generate sounds with it. It needs to actually be applied to another device in Reason. Uh, other than that, it's a very powerful little device and you can do a lot of powerful things with it. You can also run two matrices or as many matrices as you want if you wanted to have more ability to, let's say, send another curve to Rotary 1. Um, or, you know, it, you can create as many matrices as you want to control as many parameters as you want on the devices. So give it a try. Experiment with it. It's really not as hard as it looks, and it's, uh, it's the experimentation that's going to get you where you want to go. So thanks for listening. Again, I'm Rob at Reason101.net, and I'll be back with more tutorials soon.